Okay, so here is a uh, another type of problem that you'll you'll encounter. Um, this uh, this problem doesn't really have a trick to it, but um, there's some information that you need to know in order to do this properly. So the problem reads: An airplane is traveling at a constant velocity of 500 meters per second. If the drag force on the plane is 120,000 newtons, what is the force produced by the engines? So um, the first thing that should stand out in your mind when you see these problems is, is that it's talking about um, what we call a constant velocity. Okay, a constant velocity. You should know that if, if velocity is constant or not changing, that there is no acceleration. So the acceleration equals zero. Okay, so there is no change in velocity whatsoever. Um, if you want to put units on it, you can. Uh, meters per second squared. So if we look at Newton's second law equation, the sum of the forces equals mass times acceleration. If you substitute in acceleration equals zero in this equation, it doesn't matter what the mass is. Um, you get mass times zero equals the sum of the forces. So quite simply, that means that the sum of the forces is zero, which means that all of the forces acting on the airplane, when you add them up, um, have to come to zero. The net force is zero. So what we end up doing now is, of course, drawing the system. Um, oh, actually, that's a mistake, because uh, there is no ground. It's just the airplane. So we'll draw, let's see, a box here. OK, that's the airplane, nice square airplane. Um, we have some force that is driving the airplane forward. So we'll call that the force of thrust. And we have some force that's acting on the airplane as drag. F drag. And actually that's given in the problem. 120 newtons equals 120 newtons. 20,000 newtons. Okay, if the sum of these forces is zero newtons, we know that this is actually in equilibrium, even though it's moving at 500 meters per second, that it's not accelerating or decelerating. So these forces, the drag force and the thrust force, must be balanced as a result. And so we know that the force of thrust is 120,000 newtons. Okay, so again, the way this picture is drawn, these two are in equilibrium. You have 120,000 in drag, 120,000 um, acting as the thrust of the engines, pulling the plane forward. Those forces are balanced. The plane remains at a constant uh, velocity of 500 meters per second. If one of these were to change for some reason, like say you were to increase the thrust um, to 140,000 newtons, that would mean that the thrust is overcoming the drag then and you would have some form of acceleration. Okay, now that depends on a lot of things. It gets sort of complicated because air resistance goes up as well, um, but those forces come out of balance, and then all of a sudden, um, if that were the case, this acceleration here would end up being greater than zero, which would show that the plane is moving um, at a certain speed, or, or increasing its speed, rather. Now, some might say that, you know, this free body diagram isn't, complete the way it's drawn. Because normally we will draw the other forces that act in the vertical direction, things like the force of gravity and the lift force. Um, but it's important to note that these two forces are actually in balance. It's not saying the plane is ascending or descending. Um, so we don't really care about these right now because they're not affecting the, uh, the forces in the horizontal direction. Okay, so uh, this is the answer to the problem, 120,000 newtons.